Good morning, everyone. It's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I'm here to share with you our newly completed uh, Stamperia Cosmos Infinity album. So I'm going to start by showing off this um, big, beautiful cover. So here, um, I fussy cut and popped the moon a little bit. This um, is a it. I gotta touch it and see if I can fussy. No, that's a piece of paper. So this was fussy cut from the collection and I backed it myself with chipboard. Um, these are cut from the collection, also backed and popped with a little bit of um, chipboard. And when I say that, I mean like my little leftover pieces. And then we've got the spine, nice and simple, and the back. So I didn't wrap it, but I could have. Um, it's one continuous piece. Okay, so that's our cover. I think that turned out nice. There is, um, I think I think I popped, there's a smaller, um, I keep wanting to call this coyote wolf behind this and I covered it up with this larger one just to make it a little bit more interesting. And in retrospect, I did not go around the moon with ink. Um, I might have I don't know, I kind of go back and forth. It would make it stand out a little bit more. Um, as it sits now, it looks a little bit like a puffy moon. Okay, inside page, uh, inside cover, we've got um, a nice pocket. And let me get my ruler out. I think this is six by six, but I don't know, I could be wrong. Oh, seven, seven by seven. So that's what goes in the pocket. It's blank on one side, and then I did some... Uh, color blocking on the other end. In the collection, when you get toward the end, you have to start doing some color blocking if you um, if you go with my material list. I think I finished with one 8x8 and one 12 by 12 um, and that's it. Okay, inside we've got these double flaps and then we've got two inserts here. So I've got a 7x7 seven and then I've got a card here, which is a four by six folded card. Okay, on the cover is one of the cut aparts, just matted with some cardstock. Um, all of the um, large inserts in the pocket have a two inch strip on one side and a one inch strip on the other. There's enough to cover one side, but it's intense amount of color blocking. And rather than take another two days to finish this, I wanted to get it out so you guys could take a look at it. Oops. Okay, page one, page two. Um, these are cut from the collection pack, and I, I like the way that turned out. This is also cut from the collection pack, and if you watch the construction of this page, you'll know why it's here. So I'm gonna leave it at that to make you go look. <laughs> Um, these are just here as decorative and also to let you know that there's a tab here to pull down. I'm going to scoot down a little bit. This is a flap that opens like this, so you get this full circle effect. And then it opens with this uh, big, I guess it's a moon, I'm not really sure. So you can pl place a photo on top of that if you like. And just to, let's see if I've got, I think this is like a four by six. So if you place a photo on it, just make sure when you glue it down, it stays attached to this piece and don't glue it to the flap that goes down. So it could be a smaller or larger than the circle itself. Okay, that closes and this closes. This is held together with magnets. Um, I have this scrap and I just really like the way it looks, so I did this corner tuck spot by doing a radius. And I just followed the line on um, on the design paper and I like the way it came into this. So you've got this radius and then a radius here. And this is, if you don't want to cut a radius, you would start with a four and a half by four and a half. And then I've got these two inserts to tuck in, place a little chipboard there another seven and three quarter by seven and three quarter photo insert, photo mat. These two pages are mirror images. So day and night. And this opens like this. So you've got two photo um, 
mounts here, place for photo over here, and then this large area. And then this page is the same, just opens the opposite direction. So the center has um, a fairly large space for photos, and of course you can put photos here too. I like the way that turned out. Um, I like doing the light and uh, dark against the light there. Oops, one more large photo mat. Okay, and this is page six and seven. Be sure when you're, if you go to build it the way I've done it, to look at the build numbers. I did build this album out of sequence. Okay, so these are the same design, but uh, slightly different papers. So you could do a pretty large spread. Another large photo map. And then here, I really wanted to use this, this paper. <laughs> and it's from the 8x8 collection. Um, and I went back and forth about where to cut. If I had it to do over again, I would have cut on this line. Um, now, if you do decide to do that, what I would recommend is take this whole piece of paper intact and glue it on um, your backing, um, your cardstock, then cut. And that way, um, this area um, that you have to leave open to tuck your uh, photo mat in, Will be more rigid and that's especially important if you've only got a narrow space to work with mine's a little thicker so i didn't do that um, but if i had it to do over again i would have cut it here but i would have first started by backing the whole thing in um, cardstock just to make it more rigid Ooh, it stuck out something here we go and so we have this uh, round photo mat that goes in here you could place a photo here and here um, again, I think I point that out in the build process as well, but it's something to consider. Um, and then you wouldn't have to line up your photo, your uh, photo mat. Oh, I know it's a little bit. There's a little sticky spot there. There. Um, then you wouldn't have to worry about lining up your photo when you slip it in because it would just be a circle parameter. Now the way it is, I've cut through some of these. I guess I made it a little bit tighter than I thought. I'll have to go back and work that. It definitely fits. There we go. I have to kind of push down a little. Um, I have to line up my picture. See, there's the, um, the completion of this angel right here. And if you cut on that outside line, you don't have to worry about it. You just slide it in and you're done. And it doesn't really matter which way it lands. Okay, another large pocket here. These large pockets are really nice to keep track of any photos that you haven't put in your album yet. Um, or um, any ephemera pieces, tickets, uh, brochures, and stuff like that, as well as any of the ephemera that you haven't glued down that you want, you want to wait to put into the book when you add your photographs. So it's specific to your photo layout. So that's it for Stamperia's Cosmos Infinity. I hope you guys liked it. I'll be back soon with another album. And let's see, we've got, I'm going to go ahead and lay out all of the inserts real quick, just so you can get a, a feel for, like those are large ones, right? How much photo, how many photo mats you have to work with. We've got two in here. Outside of just the panels, right? Two more in there. nice large round photo mat and then this one. so those are all photo mats that are inside the book aside from the panels that you can decorate let me go back and make sure I got everything I did I think I did yep. that's everything so thanks again for tuning in this is Daphne from scrap and create and there's all the photo photo mounts mats that you have inside the book as well as the pages to cover I'll be back soon with a new project Thanks for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. See you soon. Oh, one more reminder. If you're new to the channel, if you if you click on the show more in the description, the first thing you're going to see is the material list. So the designer paper used in the project. If you continue to scroll, you'll find the cut list for um, all of the interactive elements of the book, like this flap and this 
mount here. So all of those will be in the description. Just continue to scroll past the material list to get to it. Additionally, I run banners on the pages when I'm doing the installation of any of the interactive elements. So you get a chance to see it while you're building, or you can pre-cut if you want by going to the description. Thanks again for tuning in. See you soon.